huge key part of the enjoy hitting the free throws and the big three times tipping at the end, you know, everybody really stepped up. And we all had like a conscious awareness of what the team goal was, what, what the end result was going to be. If we stuck to the game plan, if we had each other's backs, and if we just came together as a team more than we've ever been, we'd be able to come out with a victory. And, you know, it, it was displayed today, and, and the fans gave it a huge boost. I mean, Jordan hit that three, I couldn't hear anything. Like, I was just, I was just, it was so much fun, it was amazing, and we really couldn't ask for more, you know? I mean, how different was it from the effort that you guys had against Iowa on Sunday to here? I mean, it's night and day. Did you guys talk as a team after? I mean, you know, I think we felt like our effort was there in Iowa. We played hard, but it's a different team effort and being competitive. Yeah. You know, we could go out there and play hard, but being, but being competitive is, is another thing. It's a whole right. monster entirely. And, you know, we were only competitive in spurts at Iowa. You know, we missed a lot of open shots, which kind of, you know, hurt us a little bit. But, you know, we played hard, but we didn't compete enough throughout the whole game. We got to be, you know, 40 minutes consistently, and that's why they were able to, you know, do the things they did on, on offense against us. So. Can you talk about the defense? You guys, they shot like 20-something percent. Well, they shot 21 percent in the second half. Yeah. And, I mean, neither team was really doing, you know, scoring a whole lot in the second half. And so at the end of the day, it came down to stops. You know, I told the guys at about the four-minute mark, it's like, look, you know, offense isn't really going for us. You know, it's been inconsistent the whole game, but defense has kind of been, you know, kind of been a sticker the whole game. I was like, it's going to come down to stops. We can get the most stops. You know, at one point, both teams had five, five in a row, and then we were able to get six and seven. And, uh, and, and Tom had that huge put back and that kind of was the game. That was kind of curious because they were had been killing you on the offensive oh, boards, yeah. then yeah. you guys get the one that really turns yeah. the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, coaches just keep letting us know they keep, you know, re reiterating, you know, crash the boards, crash the boards, especially with the bigs. You know, I can't really crash off the boards because I'm the guy I got to get back. So for like Tom and Christian and Derek, Bobby, you know, keep crashing off the boards. Eventually it'll come, eventually come. Eventually someone's going to get tired on their team and we'll be able to, you know, make them pay for it. And Tommy was able to do it. I think a lot of your fans have been waiting for that signature win that turns right. the right. attitude, right. turns everything. Yeah. Yeah. How can you parlay this into that? I mean, that's really... I mean, this is a big victory. I mean, it's the first victory of a ranked team that we've ever had, you know, since I've been here, you know, since Coach Green has been here. And I think that was huge for our confidence, huge for the fans. I mean, I think everybody in the gym enjoyed an incredible basketball game, whether you're an Illinois fan or an Indiana fan. And our fans were just amazing and, and have been all year. I know we've been up and down, but they continue to support us, you know, regardless of the situation. So it's, it's been a blessing. Is it a, is it a, a is it just a relief that, you know, against Minnesota, against Wisconsin, you guys came close but just couldn't right. get over it? I mean, how much more you know, the hump for us, I think. And I think that's going to play even a bigger role in further games to come. You know, it's kind of like, you know, when we come down, to, we're down two with like a minute and a half left. It's like, how are we going to get this? You know, can we, can we, you know, get the stop? Can we make the right play? And, and we were able to do that tonight. So I felt like it was a small step for us, but a huge step, you know, you know, just continuing further down. Can you talk about what this does? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, um, you know, he's their he's their catalyst. So I mean, he makes them go in. Uh, you know, when he's not when he's not going, they all look a little stagnant and stuff like that. What does it do for this team when you see a guy like Jordan Falls out there and he's got his right knee wrapped and he's got his right elbow wrapped and he's got a bandage on his head? It just shows hard work. You know, uh, Jordan's a, Jordan's a dirty guy. He gets he gets grimy and uh, you know he he fought through everything tonight. Can you talk about how during the game the fans pushed you guys and how loud and intense they are? Oh yeah, they did a great job tonight. I mean, I, I can remember one time where I thought my ears were going to burst when, when when Jordan or somebody hit a three on the break. I think it was Jordan hit a three on the break. The place went crazy. So I mean, they did a great job at you know staying in tune with the game tonight. Did you get a chance to see the celebration or even be out there for it? So what now? The celebration. Oh yeah, I was out there in the midst of it, all, but you know I didn't want to get get too hurt or something like that. So, <laughs> so, I, so I decided to go. Is it almost like you an exhale after coming close against Wisconsin, close against Minnesota, and now you guys finally get the win? Well, oh, most definitely. I mean, that's that's what we've been working for. You know, we we know we've been a couple plays here and there, and you know, we finally put it all together tonight. You guys finally beat a ranked opponent. I mean, what confidence does that give you? Michigan State. Oh, it gives us a lot of confidence. You know, we know it's going to be a tough game going up there to play um, Michigan State, especially after their loss tonight. So I mean, it's going to be tough. For us. And that we, like I said, we really uh, wanting to do good, good stops or, and consecutive stops in a row, and uh, we were able to do that. How tough was it physically for you tonight? I mean, you got a you got a knee ramp, you got an elbow ramp, you got a <laughs> bandage on your temple. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just trying to play through it, uh, uh, making no excuses for whatever happens, and um, uh, good staff we got here that takes care of me. So. Um, I'm just playing, playing the game that I love, and I'm getting beat up a little bit out there, but uh, there's nothing to it.
What's the biggest this victory for this ball club when you guys are trying to find something good? Uh, definitely a huge victory uh, over a good team like uh, Illinois. Um, at home with the fans, it was huge for us, and we're just going to try and carry that uh, momentum over uh, when we play Sunday. You probably already talked about this, but, but just can you talk about going to the line, what was going through your head on those final two free throws? Yeah, um, well, my, my teammates have a lot of confidence in me and to make those shots, and uh, I wanted the ball at the end of the game to hit those free throws, and um, uh, I was able to knock them in and uh, just going through my head, just uh, just take simple breaths, don't even let the crowd get it into my head or whatever the case may be. Uh, but uh, my it, it is the confidence that it, my teammates give me is what uh, helps me out a lot.